there was a court interdict preventing you guys from doing this, but you still, yeah, so maybe just explain to us uh, what is the state of affairs now? No, we, the court interdict is stipulating the paragraph 2.2 and 2.3 that we should not uh, incite violence, we should not uh, intimidate anyone, and we should not embark on any kind of public violence. So, but it doesn't grant us uh, any interdict towards picketing. So we have a right to peaceful demonstration, of which that's what we are doing here, uh, and we will continue doing so. So that is the status, because currently the cliques and the leadership of the EFF are engaging in talks in ensuring that they bring an amicable solution to the entire the battle. But whilst we are waiting for that, we have not yet called off the protest against cliques. So that's what we are doing now. We are continuing with our protest. What is the real reason and issue and why this severe action uh, against this specific incident? No, what is happening is that uh, cliques issued uh, commissioned an advert uh, through its own uh, agencies, uh, marketing agencies. And then it was very much offensive towards black people depicting their hairstyle and their hair condition as being uh, dirty and unacceptable and uh, portraying that white hair, they are silky and they are quite acceptable, which is a direct, uh, which is a direct uh, 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 insult to black people. They have accepted that, uh, that their advert was very much offensive and then we have made some demands to police that they must cut ties with the racist agency that they have utilized that has offended black people. We have requested that all those who are in managerial positions who have commissioned that process, they should equally be removed from police establishment. And all those who are involved, we need to know their names and their details as to who are they and what is their status. So for a very long time, Cliques refused to grant us those kind of demands, to meet us halfway, to fire, to cut ties with our marketing agency, and as well as to expose those who were racist against our people. It took us to go to the streets that cliques would find itself fit to interact with the EFF. You must check the advert went out last week. We only meet with cliques today. We have had a number of correspondences towards cliques to express our dissatisfaction and make such kind of demands to them, and they have never managed to meet them. Instead, they went on to court to, to try and interdict us from picketing, and of which they lost that on Sunday. We continued on Monday with our, our, our picketing. The only thing that they have managed to secure, and of which it's not a victory, it's what is in the Constitution that nobody is allowed to embark in a violent protest. It's constitutional, it's logic. There's nobody that is allowed to inter uh, intimidate anyone, which is logic. We all accept those kind of, 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 of rulings because they are constitutionally based. They've got nothing to do to say it's a loss to the EFL. We have never made any demand that there should be violence. We have never made any demand that there should be any intimidation. Okay, so now the loss of the shops, the, the click shops are closed and fewer people now buying and all of that. Don't you think that will harm the people working here for clicks? Not at all. As you can see, clicks is operating, we know they are even operating online. They are distributing their products online and making sure that people have access to whatever they are looking for. So clicks hasn't lost anything. Ours was to ensure that we hit them financially where it matters most. Because you cannot insult black people and still make money out of the very same people you see as baboons and as monkeys. It cannot work like that. So that is why we are very much angry at clicks because they are prepared to sell their, their products to very same people they, they depict their hair, their natural hair, as very much ugly hair. So that is why we are very angry that how can they continue making money at the expense of the dignity of black people? 